Hello everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode here on Britain's Farm. So, first job of the day. Get the trailer, if I can remember where I left it. Over there, look. We're going to get some wheat and we're going to feed the chickens. Now, we're going to get the chickens delivered, because we've got no way of transporting them, so we will... Uh, we will sort that out while we're there, and as I say, then we'll chuck the uh, feed in. Beautiful job. So I hope you're well on this Friday morning. And uh, say busy day in store. We've got some combining to do today, which uh, is good. We've got Richard's combining to do. As I say, we've got uh, at the very least we've got his wheat field to do. But his millet field may well be uh, ready too, so we'll uh, we'll go and check. Right, we will order the chickens. We don't want to be spending a huge amount on the chickens, um, so we'll go for them. It holds thirty, so we'll have fifteen. Have 13 and we will have two cockles and or two roosters as they're called. Excellent. And then we will uh, tip the feed in. Like I said before, and I've said it a lot now on these videos, so I probably won't mention it anymore after these, but I cannot get rid of that texture. I don't know why it's doing it. It's now doing it on every map that I have. Um, and every pen that I lay down because I wondered if it was the pens um, that didn't take a great deal did it <laughs> I thought that was going to take a lot more than that but anyway we'll just empty this trailer off and then uh, we can leave this here to be fair um, Richard wants us to use his um, combine and tractor um, so that's uh, okay with me right we've got to just jump this fence we've got this to do so this field here is coming mustard so we've we've got a little bit to do here uh, this one we're gonna hopefully I'm gonna discard this um, that's that's my hope because I'm thinking about a new tractor um, and I've, I've made a decision about the new tractor that I hope you guys kind of understand why I've come to the sort of decision that I have but I'll explain more about that um, in a later video because um, as I say at the moment we're a little bit busy to be worrying about tractors but uh, yeah, I've I've got a tractor in mind. I've got two in mind. Um, yeah, I'll, like, like I say, I'll, I'm, I I've mentioned it because you know we are gonna get at least one new tractor this autumn. Um, so we're gonna get rid of well, we're not necessarily gonna get rid of it, but. We won't be using it on the farm quite as much, which is the uh, Super Dexter, which is up here. So um, I do run, um, but I do chat while I uh, run. But as people know, I, I'm really not a fan of tabbing. I haven't got it disabled. I can tab if I want to, um, but I just don't like doing it. But I will just look before I cross the road. Oop, yeah. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this millet will be... Uh, ready to uh, combine but if not we have got a field of wheat that we can uh, go for the rest of Richard's land which I've not actually showed you so it's obviously is this field and obviously we've got this field uh, at the back here this one and then we've got these fields here so this field here and a I think he said it's this field here 
I think eventually what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking, I think his idea is, is that we're going to take all of this out. So the fence and the bushes there, the trees, the tree here, the wall, uh, the fence there. And eventually we're going to have it so that this is one grass field and we will just farm one massive grass field for our animals. Um, Richard's not so keen on the arable side of farming as I am and so he's kind of of the opinion that because he sits in quite a large acreage of grass then maybe we should hand all the grass operation over to him I mean I'll still be doing the work because he's a lazy bugger um, so I'll still be doing all the work, but his arable fields we'll be able to use for our own discretion. So we'll be able to put our own crops on there. I mean, it's an idea that we're looking at. Um, but uh, yeah, and then as I say, it goes this way then with this field. And then there's a field of, just see the yellow over there when I jump up, that field of wheat. Um, but anyway, without further ado we will need to crack on as i say i'm hoping that that uh, field of uh, millet we could always check millet all right let's have a look no it's still growing so we've still only got the wheat field to do but um as I say, we uh, we can get on with that wheat field. We'll combine that in this episode, and then um, and then we'll um, I'll probably bail it off camera, and then uh, so just to explain, obviously you've seen this tractor before. I had this in uh, Ertl at one sixteen scale. I also had the John Deere, well it's actually my brother actually that owned that, that had the tractor. Uh, my oldest brother had the tractor, I'm, 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 I'm fairly certain I remember correctly. Uh, we also had the John Deere trailer, which the, the trailer shaped like this. Uh, so the shape and the colours are nearly exact, but it was a John Deere one, not a Welker one. But that's as close as I could get to what we had. And then the combine, which is what I bought myself for my 8th birthday. I had um, the Titan 2, uh, but mine was a 9550. Uh, but the only the highest mod I could find of that combine was obviously the 8820, and the mod also had the blacked out cab. What I'll try and do is I'll try and make the model if I if I'm able to um, at least the picture in the thumbnail so that um, you can see what I had uh, and the same with the trailer and the tractor but anyway we'll get this tractor over to the field and then we'll walk back and we will get the combine and we'll take the combine down there as well so we're one sole farmer at the moment actually you know that might not be a bad idea for a series um, but anyway <laughs> Uh, that's me thinking out loud. So we'll get this down to the uh, field, and as I say, and then we'll get the combine down there. Um, these two fields right next to this road, so that one and that one, these are coming rapeseed. Um, so they're coming rapeseed, so again, they'll need uh, discarrying as well, as well as the one up there near the silo, which I showed you, that's coming mustard seed and they both need drilling this month. Uh, it's the first day of September on the uh, farm. I wonder if actually I'll be better off parking up there, probably. And uh, yeah, as I say, we'll... Uh, we'll just beat this car across, sorry. <laughs> as you can see, we've got lots of grass work to uh, to be getting on with. Um, because we've sort of been doing quite a bit of grass, not only in this series, but also in um, 1950s farm as well, I will, um, hmm. I 
I've just realised I've got to try and get the combine. Uh, I can come here, the combine. I can come through that grass field and come round because although on the real on the model that I had, um, you could detach the header. The one thing it didn't come with was a trailer, um, so it means that uh, I can't really. Uh, That's what I have to press. So it means I've got no way of getting it on. So I don't actually know how I'm going to get it through here because I think that's too wide, is it? Oh no, we should get through there. We should get through there. Uh, we'll run down the uh, headland of this grass field and then uh, we'll just nip across. should be able to get across there as long as I don't hit that tree and that telegraph pole we'll be fine all right so same again we'll um we'll be trailing the straw here just slow the combine down a little bit Not trailing. Oh no, it was trailing. It didn't look like it was, but anyway. So yeah, so we'll get this field combined, um, and then uh, we will be uh, good to go with the baler. But as I say, I'll do I'll do that off um, camera. Um, I'll see how sort of long this video is. And then uh, whether we do another job, I was rather hoping that was going to be ready as well, um, because that would have fitted in quite nice. But there you go, it isn't. So still need to slow the combine down a little bit. It does feel I, I was um, doing uh, when I was combining my crops the thought came into my head that uh, it is quite weird sitting sort of drive it i know it's a mod and it's a computer game but sort of i could imagine myself now being inside my model that i had and sort of you know com <laughs> combining the carpet and um it, it's quite weird but really sort of nice in a way um, you know, to sort of imagine myself inside the the cab of um, you know the combines and the tractors and different things, and actually doing the jobs, um, you know, that I that I would have done sort of in my imagination with my uh, my models on the uh, carpet. It's uh, it's really nice, and I say, and this was the f my first really big purchase, uh, as I said in the last video. Um, I saved up all my birthday money and I was still a little bit short and <laughs> mum and dad god bless them they um, they made up the uh, the the extra that I was short which I, th I think it ended up being like eight pound or something um, so yeah it was uh, just as I could buy the uh, combine and um, I, I loved this combine to bits I mean it was out of scale compared to my 132nd because again this was in 116 scale um, so it was out of scale but uh, you know it, it didn't bother me um, you know my Britain's tractors running alongside with the trailer uh, the class the green trailer that I uh, used just then to uh, to do the uh, the chicken feed with that was uh, yeah, it's very hard to see the edge of that wheat. Uh, that was the trailer that I had, and uh, yeah, we'd run alongside and fill the trailers up with. Sometimes it would be bird seed, sometimes it would be mud from the garden, um, or muck from the garden, uh, and uh, sit out happily on the lawn or in the house if it was raining, playing with my uh, model tractors. It really does this. This series really has evoked a lot of sort of childhood 
uh, memories and and it's been uh, a really nice uh, uh, a series to do and, 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 and really nice to sort of play and and do this and uh, you know remember those times because uh, you know we're all getting older you know sort of day by day and, and we'll never get those sort of times and back and I think what's wonderful about this game is is it's it's given me well hopefully you as well um, you know because hopefully some of the people that watch these um, videos you know uh, are also people that maybe still collect today or that collected or had them when they were a kid and played with them you know the same way that I did and um, and, and then it sort of brought back some lovely childhood memories um, which is really nice and uh, as I say I'm sort of very grateful for the game for doing that um, oh. There we go. I don't think it's going to take this combine too much time to fill that trailer, to be fair. Um, I do my four, head, uh, four rounds around the headland and then um, up and. Well, we'll. I'll probably do up and down because it hasn't got the tram lines, and when you haven't got tram lines and you want to land, it's very, very difficult because um, you end up sort of not lands in not doing the breathe through square and, and it looks a bit of a mess so I'll probably do this one up and down but if I had tram lines I'd be able to to, to land it because I'd be able to sort of guesstimate where my lands are supposed to go in in terms of me um, in terms of me uh, you know sort of keeping it fairly okay and making a bit of a job of it but uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to uh, leave you for now with some music and I'm going to finish combining this field and then um, I will come back and as I say, depending on how long the video is we'll either do another job, I've got a couple of jobs that we can do so um, we can either do that or we can um, leave the video there and then I'll see you next time uh, because as I say the field work is about to start um, obviously we've still got one more field to combine which is that field of uh, millet that's right in front of me as we speak and, uh, and, and stuff like that to do so anyway for now I'll leave you with some music and um, I'll see you when this field is combined
and I'm back. Hello. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the music. Right. As you just saw, combining done. Decided to add the bailing in as well, just because, um, you know, the combine, to be fair, was done a lot quicker than what I thought it was going to be. Um, until I started combining it, it actually looked a decent sized field, but as you can see, we've bailed it, but I haven't noticed that that combine does leave um, the swath slightly too wide for the pickup of my baler, mainly just on the corners. Um, so I might not take too much notice of it, but yeah, as I say, we're all bailed up. The one thing I didn't mean to say when I uh, did my uh, intro, when I opened out the video, was that the straw bales that was left on the trailer from the last episode have been stacked into the uh, shed. And then on the very last stack, I had a bit of a disaster and knocked them all and made that. They were looking like that and then they ended up looking like that um, but as many of you are beginning to realize and learn I'm not very good when it comes to uh, telehandlers and bales um, so sort of job still to do we've got this grass to cut here um, down to these trees and then this is still going to be developed I have come to realize it is going to leave me with a slight issue as in it is eventually going to raise the ground because of it needs to it's going to be sort of basically level um, and so we're going to end up with quite a, a ridge here uh, which does leave me with a bit of a dilemma because from experience that's not going to leave a very good job for the cattle so what I'm thinking is the cattle are going to come this side. That way, yes, we will still probably have a ridge, but it won't actually matter quite so much because it won't ruin that track. That track is to go down uh, to the grass field at the back here because obviously originally these were all, it was all hedged around here. And this was the only way you could get round to these fields. Obviously, I've taken out the hedges which as everyone uh, that's watches this series regular or this series regular knows that it lifted my trees up in the air for whatever reason that's never happened before um, but um, on this map it happens every time because uh, I didn't know whether I'd done something wrong myself so I tried it again but uh, it was the same result sheep are looking good um, plenty of food we've now got some wool um, they're still feeding which is good we've got a few bales in here as well or two bales well, obviously we've got those bales over there but we're also going to need more hay bales because because we're having beef cow we're not going to need to worry too much about TMR um, so uh, because we're not going to have to worry quite so much about that which is kind of good in a way um, we are going to need more hay bales because um, as I say, they're going to need to be fed. Um, and I don't think that's going to be enough all winter for the cows and the sheep. I would have liked to have eventually, not this year, because the farm doesn't have the money, but eventually I would have liked this year to have put pigs in here as well. Um again with the ground not sure that's going to be possible but we might be able to put them in at my end um, because the farm as you know is going to go the other end uh, it's going to go down there on that first field not this year uh, because as I've uh, explained a little bit earlier in the video that those two fields right on that road there are going to become uh, canola um, and so because they're going to become canola this year, obviously that means there's going to be no development this year. It's the field on the left there. I mean, we, we could do the field on the right, but the field on the right does have quite a steep um, sort of hill in it. Um, whereas this one on the left here is, 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 is flat, basically. Uh, and, and even going sort of to the one beyond it. I don't want to go into the one beyond it, but that, again, is a flat field or virtually flat it's not going to make too much difference just leveling it off um, we could go that way 
um, but the farm itself in terms of sheds is not going to be that big uh, obviously we've got Richard stuff to come down here um, and that will give us a little bit more room up there then for storing bales and, and animal equipment um, which is obviously going to be very helpful um, so Richard stuff's coming down here as well so we are going to we'll probably divide it up uh, we'll probably have the farm this side and then probably put a hedge or a wall or something across and then with some gates and then this side will probably be uh, the animal area where we'll say we'll have some pigs um, we'll have um, horses probably move the chickens down here uh, eventually I would like to move the chickens out of that uh, pen that they're in at the moment and move them into uh, you know a nicer uh, chicken coop so uh, you know that that but that's all things for the future and, and, and we'll certainly um, you know sort that as and when we come to it but anyway that's going to be it for this video I'm going to go off camera now and just move those bales and put them in the shed so that we've got plenty of straw bales um, we we are we have decided we are going to use the straw and bed the cows if we're able to in that open pen it, it might be that we're not able to um, but that's something we'll find if we can't then myself and Richard have decided that we're just going to sell the bales um, so it, it's going to be sort of no wheel store um, you know that will free up more space for hay um, and possibly a bit of silage we've not decided yet whether we're going to feed silage bales to the cows or whether we're just going to keep it a hay. We've got more than enough grass now to do both if we want to. Um, but as I say, this year we're hoping to get one more cut off this, these two here. And then in the winter this will be spring cropped. In the winter this tree's coming down. This wall's all coming down. Trees and trees all the way down there. This will make one field then. Uh, it'll be quite a big field. Um, but it will be it will be worthwhile, and also as well it will again give us um, you know the opportunity for more cropping and and different things like that. And I'm maybe also as well would like to buy another field. Um, obviously we've got like this field in front, sort of there and there. I think if I remember correctly, there's another field just round down the back of the what was the rape field this year. But um, we'll have to wait until these crops get cleared before we can look into buying uh, the field. Because if we buy the field with the crop on, then we owe the farmer um, all of the money from the crops. We won't make nothing from it, but we'll have to use our diesel and manpower to harvest. So we'll wait till he harvests. I mean, it's not ready yet, as you can see. But we'll wait until he harvests, if indeed we end up with this field. But it goes for any field we can only buy fields when the crops are off uh, if the crop has just been planted that's fine um, you know we can buy the field and then it's up to us whether we decide to rip it up or or keep what it is but anyway as I say that's going to be it for this video um, at the end of each video I like to keep you up to date and I know and I realize that on some videos I do repeat myself about my plans and that but um, you know as I say I like to keep everyone updated of you know sort of what I'm thinking and and it and hopefully it gives you guys the chance in the comments before I do stuff to sort of say well you know actually I think that's a bad idea or have you thought about this or whatever um, and as always we're at 94 subscribers now with what about a week and a half is it two weeks of March left surely surely we can get six subscribers and hit our target of 100 subscribers by the end of March it would be absolutely magical if we could but um, unfortunately my hands are, are tied on that one I have to leave that up to you wonderful uh, boys and girls that watch my videos and I really do appreciate that um, you know my videos do get the views that they do get I know I realize it's you know nowhere near like you know some of the uh, other YouTube channels but for me just starting out properly this year it means a heck of a lot and um, I really am grateful. Anyway, thanks ever so much for joining me. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Share the videos as well with your friends. That's great also because it introduces new people to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Thanks ever so much for joining me. Bye for now.